Detroit is entering the home stretch of preparations for next month's NFL draft with tens of thousands of people expected to visit Hart Plaza and campus Marshes Park. Improvements are being made all over the city and the excitement is growing, especially after the Lions playoff run last season. Yeah, we're still going off of that high. Joining <laughs> us right now is Claude Molinari, the president and CEO of Visit Detroit. Thank you for being here with us. Well, thank you so much for having me. So we're getting really close, kind of a few weeks away. Uh, let's start with how big a deal this is for the city to be hosting the draft. Well, not just the city, the whole region. I mean, we've got we're less than 40 days to the NFL draft and it's really starting to become real. And we've got some major events going on uh, leading up to the draft itself with our on the clock tour, but you know, hotel rooms are being sold out throughout yeah. the region. Yeah, and of course we're sprucing up for our guests that are coming, but this is really something that's gonna be a sight to see for even locals because it's gonna be completely transformed. Oh, no doubt. The whole city is going to be a showcase. And again, it's not just Campus Martius and Hart Plaza, but now it's Beacon Park, uh, uh, Campus Mar uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Grand Circus Park, Harmony Park, Capitol Park. I mean, all over the city, we're going to have activations. It's going to be in Corktown as well as Greektown. So especially in that main area of Campus Martius, what can people expect to see? Well, it's going to be like an NFL fantasy land. So there'll be a, a giant superstructure where all the theatrics are going to take place, where Commissioner Goodell is going to announce all of the uh, uh, players who have been selected. And it's going to be a really exciting time. And again, 32 teams, all these announcements, and, and you know everybody's in first place on draft day because they know their team's going to be much better for the following season. Yeah, we've been talking about this for a while. Do you think that our viewers understand the magnitude of this transformation and what's going to be happening here? Well, I think this is just such an amazing opportunity for us to really showcase Detroit, Southeast Michigan, and the state of Michigan. With 60 million people watching on live TV, as well as hundreds of thousands descending upon our city, it's going to be a great opportunity to showcase all the things. And again, Detroit has changed so much from the skyscrapers to all the improvements and the infrastructure and the shopping and all the things that are making us such a viable opportunity that the NFL chose Detroit. I think this is a great chance for us to showcase all of that fantastic accomplishment. So we're talking about tens of thousands of people from all over just pouring in. What do you hope is the takeaway? If you're one of those people coming maybe for the first time to Detroit, what do you hope is their takeaway after that weekend? Just that they're surprised in a very positive way. You know, sometimes it's almost insulting. We have people come here and they're like, I'm shocked how awesome yeah. the city is in this region. I had no idea this beautiful blue water. And I want to say, well, what did you expect? <laughs> I mean, you know, these major events and these uh, major showcases come here for a reason because we have the ability to host them. And so I'm really excited about that. And again, I, I can't stress enough now that we've sold out almost all the downtown hotel rooms, Oakland, Wayne, Macomb County and beyond are going to be filled up all the hotel rooms across the region. Yeah, we mentioned the Lions awesome season and the fact that that put a lot of eyes on Detroit mm -hmm. too. Do you think this will just take things to the next level? Indeed, I think it absolutely will. I mean, this is a platform that's going to, I think, change the perception of Detroit forever. I think that there's a there's still some outdated misconceptions about our region. And now people are going to start to see this. And again, when they're seeing these drone shots of all these new skyscrapers and all these cranes in the air and all the people all over the place in our neighborhoods. Again, they'll be doing, you know, um, different vignettes of like, hey, while we're in Detroit, let's check out all these things. And there are so many cool things that they're going to be able to see. Yeah. Now you mentioned most of the hotel rooms are already sold out for those procrastinators out there. Are there a handful left? Should they just start looking outside of the city? I, I mean, there's going to be a, a, a few more spots left, but I would definitely start looking for the great hotels that we have. I mean, there are 45,000 hotel rooms within uh, Visit Detroit's area of Oakland, Wayne, and Macomb County, and we've got incredible uh, venues out there, and I think they're going to get an uh, incredible amount of compression. We're going to have people all over the region. Yeah, so the buildup is there. We're really excited, but once this event is over, what does this mean for the Motor City? What does an event like this do? for this city. Well, we'll be talking about hundreds of millions of dollars of economic impact, but also a living legacy that'll stay beyond the draft itself. You know, our work with Project Play and uh, Beyond Basics for active play with kids, as well as um, uh, literacy, is gonna make a huge benefit well into the future. And as we do more events, we're gonna continue to fund these initiatives so that the legacy beyond these events will be that our children will have a better future. And frankly, when you host a huge event like this, it also gives a bunch of other event organizers to say, 
If it was in Detroit and the NFL chose to do it there, maybe we should be choosing them as well. Yeah, well, we look forward to talking about all of that in the weeks to come. Claude Molinari, president and CEO of Visit Detroit, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. And again, the NFL draft is expected to bring thousands, tens of thousands of people to downtown Detroit. It kicks off April 25th and runs through the 27th.